This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Thank God by Manikit on the piano. Give you a preview, pretty awesome tune, goes like this, give you a preview before we start learning it. Check it out. Repeat. Alright, let's get right into it. So, melody and chords, that's the foundation, and afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns like that. Anyways, break it up to four parts, it's easy to learn. First part, right hand starts on the C sharp here. So, middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, it's the C sharp right here, okay? Anyways, so we're starting on the C sharp, and then goes three E's F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. Alright, that's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. Let's go C sharp. E, 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 F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this. C sharp and C sharp minor together. That's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. So it goes together. All right. Moving on to the second part. Ryan continues. Goes C sharp, E, 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 F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. Okay, let's learn it again. So it goes C sharp. E, 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 F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have A major, which is A, C sharp, E. All right, with that in mind, two hands together, goes like this, C sharp and A major together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it once again, together. All right, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. So moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes D sharp, and then three D sharps, E, and then five D sharps. Oh wait, four D sharps, sorry. One, two, three, four. Okay. Quite a lot of D sharps in this remaining two parts of this lesson. Alright, so it goes D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp. Like that. So first we have one D sharp and then four uh, three D sharps. One, two, three, E, and then four D sharps. Like that. Okay, so remember it's one and three, four. Okay, left hand we have B major as a chord, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this D sharp and B major together. Like that. That's it for the third part. Let's learn it again. So together. All right, back to back. The three parts of learned so far will be played like this. Alright, moving on to the fourth and last part here, it goes D sharp, E, and then five D sharps. One, two, three, four, five, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again. It goes D sharp, E, and then five D sharps. Two, three, four, five, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp. Alright, left hand is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp, as the chord. With that in mind, two hands together, it goes like this, D sharp and G sharp minor together. Like that. So one more time, so together. Like that. Awesome. Okay. That's it. Back to back, all four parts will be played like this, and you just loop it. B. So once you get the melody and chords of this all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. So yeah, left hand you can do like octave, bass, arpeggios, rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing. And then right hand you can sometimes add like uh, harmonies underneath the melodies to make it thicker in texture. It can be like...
yeah, play around, have fun, and awesome. Okay, so if you want to learn other awesome tunes like this, just search up your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.